All right, I'm gonna try to keep this short. You did hopefully do this in trig, so this is mostly a review, but I'm guessing it's been a long time. So, how do I get from here all the way to these numbers over here, or these numbers here? How do I know these things? Um, how could I do that without the calculator, without plugging in a bunch of uh, numbers into trace? to see where is this dot over here at certain thetas. It is possible, it's not too complicated either. So I'm gonna erase a few things here. And I'll erase a few things over here. Actually, I probably don't need anything. It'll all go. So the first thing you sort of need to realize is that because cosine has a period of 2 pi, your graph has a period of 2 pi. Okay. Now, that's not the end of the story. If you remember, I told you this curve drew itself in only one pi. So even petals, when you have an even number of petals, when this number here is even, you have two times the number of petals and a period of 2 pi. When it's odd, you have the same number of petals and the period is only, I spelled that wrong, is only pi. Now why is that? Well because when you do a full 2 pi you simply trace the drawing twice. So that would be pi. When you go to 2 pi it retraces itself exactly and whereas when you have an even number inside your trig function, it doesn't retrace itself. So if you had something like r equals cosine of 4 theta, you would have 8 petals because it, you would draw 4 and then the next 4 would not overlap. Whereas when you have r cosine of 3 theta, you have only 3 petals because after you draw the first 3, the next 3 overlap. Okay, So that's one thing you have to remember. Odd numbers have the same number of petals and the period is only pi. Even have twice as, number, twice as many petals um, and a period of full 2 pi. If you have your calculator, that's easy to see, but if you don't, you have to understand that. And so, if you have something like r equals O cosine of 8 theta, I know I'm going to have 16 petals the entire period is going to be 2 pi, but if I only want to know one petal, I have to take that full 2 pi to go all the way around, and I've got 16 different petals, so the period for one petal will be pi over 8. So that way when I'm doing my integral of some r squared d theta, I know that the limits from here to here have to equal a total distance of pi over 8. And that will ensure that you can get an entire pedal. Now that does not mean it's going to be from 0 to pi over 8 because as you've seen, when you draw these, they usually start in the middle 
and then go around that way. So you'd have to go forwards pi over 8 and then backwards pi over 8. But again, you'd want to check that with your calculator. Um, it depends how things are being drawn. But in a nutshell, that is how you can look at your limits. Um, hopefully you'll have your calculator for some of these questions, but in case not, these are all good things to know. I hope that clears some things up.